Why waste your time anywhere else? Welcome back, everybody. Well, on Thursday, the GOP-controlled House voted to abolish a controversial cost control board built into the president's health care law. It's called IPAB, or the Independent Payment Advisory Board, and it sparked a major debate in Congress. Joining us now to talk more about this issue, Republican Congressman Larry Bouchon. Welcome, Congressman. Great to have you here today. Well, critics of this advisory board say that it would simply ration health care to people and make decisions that are best left to doctors and patients. But would this panel have the authority to be involved in all aspects of health care? The president's uh, health care plan has already cut $575 billion from uh, the, the Medicare uh, portion of uh, what the government pays for seniors. The president also, budget in his budget, proposed another $300 billion in cuts. So what the Independent Payment Advisory Board's role would be is to look at further cuts to the Medicare program. They're fairly limited in what they could do other than further cutting reimbursement to hospitals and providers. And this is going to be a detrimental thing for seniors. Eventually what will happen is we'll have significant access problems for America's seniors. Uh, they won't be able to find a doctor that will take Medicare. And in that way, that begins to ration services based on what the government will pay for. Well, let me ask you this. Is it true that IPAB would make the recommendations to limit what all Americans are legally allowed to spend for their health care, even if it's their own money, to hold it below the rate of medical inflation? Well, I don't think that that's true, but I think that the, the biggest issue is, is this is a panel of 15 unelected Washington, D.C. bureaucrats appointed by the president. It could be this president or any president in the future that has the power to recommend cuts to the Medicare program which uh, do not uh, have any control of the Congress. We would have the ability only to propose further cuts, and we'd have to have a two-thirds majority to override uh, their proposals for cuts. You see what happens every time the so-called doc fix comes around when the proposed cuts to Medicare are going to happen. And you see what seniors groups do, you see what physicians groups do, and the Congress always overturns that. So to give an unelected board the power to cut further from the Medicare program is just something that we don't need and is detrimental to America's seniors. I don't think I've seen anything worse for America's seniors in the 15 years I practiced uh, heart surgery. Well, supporters are saying, though, this panel would only step in if costs to overhaul overall programs exceeded what was budgeted for the initial expenditures. What do you say to that? Well, that is true, and we need to drive down the overall health care costs so that that doesn't happen. The other thing is the Medicare system needs to, to be restructured. The Repul House Republicans have proposed uh, ways to do that. There are other proposals on the table. We know that by 2030, double the number of seniors that we have today will require Medicare services. We know it's on a fiscally unsustainable path. The fact of the matter is, is if we do nothing, IPAB will have to cut because they have no choice, because the costs are going to continue to go up based on sheer numbers. So, uh, you know, the, the people that are proponents of this uh, are short-sighted. Uh, they want to keep their head in the sand and not look at what we really need to do. And what we really need to do is preserve and protect this program for America's seniors. Really quickly, though, um, that it passed the House. It doesn't appear it's going to be taken up in the Senate. So is this just a, a lost exercise by the House? I mean, do we expect this to ever be fully uh, debated by both houses of Congress? Well, look, the, the IPAB was part of the Senate bill portion of the Obamacare bill, as you probably know. There were multiple members of the, of the House, including a number of Democrats that didn't think it was a good idea in the first place. Democrats in the Senate, uh, some of which came out last week and said that they were considering voting to repeal the I IPAB. I think it's up to Senator Reid and, and the Senate Democrats to bring up something that has bipartisan support and let it have its day in court. The fact of the matter is, is that most people realize that IPAB will be detrimental to seniors and it gives, again, Washington, D.C. bureaucrats uh, the power to control Medicare instead of having that in the all power of your right. elected officials. Okay, sir, thank you very this much. Is, it's just a bad idea. Okay, we hear you. Thank you very much. We're unfortunately, we're running out of time, but uh, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me on.